Okay, good morning, y'all. It is the next day, day two of the hair journey, day one of trying to initiate these uh, locks. So I woke up pumped and ready to go and ready to, you know, get this install going. However, let me just tell y'all what I'm already realizing is doing these locks on your own is not easy. Maybe better. Um, I had too many lights going on so the exposure was off. But doing this, these parts is not for the week, okay? The grid is definitely super important and you want to make sure that you at least got some straight lines going on um, if this is something that you may want to do on your own. But it's definitely not the easiest thing in the world, y'all. Um, I've probably been standing here now for at least an hour trying to get this grid together. Hey y'all, so I'm in my bathroom and I decided to stand this way because it's a lot easier with the lighting. So anyways, doing this grid is not for the week. It's not for someone individually. You really should do at least your parting with, you know, another person that can assist you because... I have, I'll show y'all my contraption just so y'all can see. So in the mirror, you see my ring light, you see the camera, and you see this 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 mirror. I have a mirror that's attached to my ring light right now. This is actually a mirror that was, um, that I got from my old job or whatever the case may be. I got it from my old job. Um... And I had it when, so hold on y'all. Okay, so I'm sitting on the toilet, not literally. <laughs> not like use the bathroom, but you know, I'm sitting on top of the toilet so I can speak to y'all. Cause this is my setup. This is where I'm gonna be most of the day. Like I wanted to be able to sit out in my living space because I have a closet mirror that's glass and I thought that would be easiest. Problem is, is that I need to be able to see the back of my head with parting and it ended up being easier to set the ring light up in my bathroom and then have the mirror. So let me show y'all the mirror. I'm gonna just try to unclip it. So this is a mirror that is literally, so the brand's called See All, right? So it's called See All. And this is just like a little clip. And then it's like one of those widespread mirrors as you can see. So it gives you an overview of like a bigger space. Like it gives you that wide view, right? So I got this mirror when I worked at my old company from like a coworker that was like, oh, I don't need it. It's fine. You can have it. And I was like, perfect. I'll take it. And so you use it for work so you can see who's coming, you know, behind you. And it's such a wide um, lens sort of mirror. So I've been using this and I try to set my pod my tripod up in my living space I tried to um use the closet mirror and have it reflect in but then the problem is, is that the ring light is helpful because it gives more light but then it was also kind of glaring in places and I found it easier to basically stand in my regular bathroom mirror have this reflecting and I pulled my tripod up really high and had this mirror angled down so I can like actually see like where my parts are. So with that being said, I was able to come up with um, what was easiest for me. I know a lot of ladies that I've been seeing do this say that they've been doing like 40 individual little braids. That is fine and dandy, but I feel like I don't need 40 little braids. I'm fine with having a chunk, not large chunk, but these are like semi, medium, right? Chunks and just working in those one chunks. So in total, I have four in one quad, four in another quad, four in the back left quad and four in the back right quad. So then that means that I have four, eight, 12, 16. Let me make sure that I'm counting that right. Yep, four, eight, 
12, 16. Yep, so I have 16 sections in my hair. I found that to be easier because even though my hair is very volumed and it looks like it's super, I guess, dense with a lot of hair, my hair just has a lot of volume. However, if I was to get like a blowout, for instance, and with my natural hair, when it's blown out, it's more fine. It's not as thick as it looks. It's more volumed, which then makes people think that my hair is super thick. But really, when you break down my little sections, the actual like amount of hair in each section is not as thick, if that makes any sense to y'all. Um, so I really don't feel like this is going to take me as long as I saw some ladies that said they had like 4C type hair and all of a sudden when you saw their parts, their parts looked like there was so much hair in one part. My hair is just puffy. It frizzes a lot. But if I really, like for instance, this hair is puffy, right? It looks super like dense. But if you squeeze it, it's really that much hair compared to how puffy that it looks, if that makes any sense. So um, I don't think it's going to take that long. But this was easiest for me to part my hair this way with just 16 parts because 40 parts just was not working out for the fact that I needed to part my hair. So how I decided to part my hair was similar to what other ladies did, which is um, down the middle going vertically, across the middle going horizontally, and then when my hair is like down and I wear like a little swoop to the side, my swoop to the side is I like to take my right side and put it over to the left. That's how I like to do it. I don't like it to go from left over to the right. I like it to go from the right to the left. So I just basically did the middle and then I have this part and then I have that part. And then that way my hair can just go like that when I'm deciding to wear it down. So that's why there's two, four, six, eight like that. And then in the back, I have it across like this and then another across. So one across at the bottom or at the nape going horizontally, then another across in the middle going horizontally. That second row, I cut into vertically. So there's one and one. So there's one at the nape and then as a triangle. In that second row, there's one, then there's two. Then in that third row, there's just that one triangle portion type of thing that they say that you get, right? Those little triangles at the top. And that's basically how I parted my hair and decided to go with it because honestly, it's just the easiest. So I know these videos may seem like long and I have to break them down in parts. And technically these are my weekly, this is my weekly vlog because this is what I'm doing this week. But I will break them down over the course of Sunday when I put out this vlog, um, for Sunday when I put out the vlog, and then Monday, Tuesday, so to speak. So that way you'll get a couple in a week just to break it down because this is my weekly vlog. This is what I'm doing. Um, and it's just going to take all weekend. Like I said, I'm not seeing family, unfortunately, this weekend for Christmas. And I'm not going to see family for New Year's next year. Um, you know, literally next year. Um, and next week. Oh, my regular camera died, so I have to use my phone. But yeah, basically, I'm not seeing family for the holidays. So that basically just means that I have to, you know... Just keep myself occupied um, and not be so sad that I'm not going home. Uh, so yeah, so let me just show y'all the hair. So kind of just looks like this, you know. So that's basically it. It's just the 16 parts. And I just had to do what I had to do by myself. Like, like I said, I didn't have any help with the parting and it wasn't that easy. So I'm hoping that my small parts can come out as good as I can get them because it's not that easy, but you know, 
do what you got to do. It's your hair. It's how you want to have your hair. So that's it. That's all. You know, that's that's all. That's it. That's all you can do. Um, so, yeah, I will keep y'all updated and do little like speed through. So, you know, I sit with me extra long for these different sessions. But, yeah, I'm going to try to go around in a circle, like start at the bottom back, come to the front and go around. Because if I don't finish, I feel like at least I can like pull it up and make it look kind of like, you know, less crazy and dense. I am going to try one method of um interlocking on one where I interlock the entire thing. I don't think that I want to do interlocking all the way up. I think I want to try with the two strand twist because I like the results that come from the two strand twist and then interlocking at the root. Um, I don't know. I'm going to play around with it and I'll let y'all know what I actually ended up deciding. Hey y'all, hey, Merry Christmas in real time. Um, I know it looked like I might have not done much, but I've done all of one section yesterday. That took me four hours. And there is a total of, hold on, let me get my notepad. I'll be able to tell you. So yeah, I did one section like quarter, I should say, in one quarter is four sections, as I had explained to y'all. And I have about a total of, let's see, I have about 58 total in this one. I think, as I told y'all, I'm going to have more in the tops because the this part of my head, when you part it equally, these parts of my head are more dense and more full. So... If I have 58 in this section, and then I'll probably have like 50 something in that section, that's two something. And then if I have how many ever I have here, I'm assuming these are going to be closer to 100. 100, probably close to 400, maybe a little less. So I don't know, we'll see. But um, that's perfect for me. I don't want a whole bunch of them, but I don't want them super big. And yeah, it only took me four hours total. So... It's 2.07 now. Let's say I start 2.15, right? Let's write that down. Today's the... Whew, y'all, I just took a nap. Let me just tell you. I just took a nap. I woke up at like 7. And I took a freaking nap. Um, Because I was just tired. And I cooked Christmas dinner at like 8 o'clock in the morning and I ate that for breakfast so I passed out like in a coma honey passed out passed out um yeah so now I'm gonna get started and I'll be back with y'all I'll check in back with y'all when I'm more you know at a good point hey y'all checking back in it's Christmas um ending of the day and it took me one extra hour this time but also it's weird because i have more installed locks on the left on the bottom left than i have on the right um i'm gonna comb through them to kind of see but i don't feel like the sizing is drastically different they look about the same to me I don't know so I'm gonna have to figure that out cuz I got like I'd say maybe 30 or so more on the left than the right so maybe there were a few that I did a little bit bigger and I can go back and I can look and see if some look too big and then I can like split them a little bit um but today I feel like I had more of a consistent rhythm and I think I stopped focusing so much on the perfect grid because at the end of the day when you're doing these yourself you're just not going to get a perfect grid like if you have someone that helps you part and you do the twisting 
that's different because you have someone to help you. But if you're doing these by yourself, completely by yourself, it would take literally twice as long because even though I have my setup, so I have a different kind of setup, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I'm gonna cover up the light so you can see. So I placed the mirror here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn this off, see if that can help. Or oh, turn it down. Okay, so I placed the mirror here and I clicked it onto the middle. <laughs> that little clip is to the middle of where you would put the camera or your phone or whatever. I just clipped it on there because it's a clip mirror. Um, and then I just bent it because it can bend and I put it in front of the light. So that way when the light is illuminating, it's illuminating enough for me to go like this and I can see exactly what's going on. So I did that. And I've been standing the whole time that I've been doing them because I do, like I said, have a mirror in my bedroom area. But I don't know. I feel like I get more productive when I'm just standing here and I'm just going. And luckily, I've been talking to like my friends and family yesterday and today. I spoke to my mom most of the time that I was doing this, minus like an hour or 45 minutes. So it's helping, you know. Um, tomorrow, I will be starting the first section of the front which is always easier for me to kind of like see so I think it's not to say the back is not following a grid it definitely is following a grid especially since I had sectioned them that way but I think when it came say for instance if I parted a column I stopped taking the comb and being so meticulous about the individual little pieces because the boxes are so freaking small guys I have long nails anyways as y'all know so I was able to see what I was doing and take my nail and go straight across and even if it wasn't straight and it was a little off it was fine like it was a line you know what I mean so it's still forming some sort of grid you know situation which is good um other than that I'm tired my arms hurt and my back hurt just kind of like standing up and doing like a lot and my the back of my hair is measuring out to be between 12 and 13 inches you know what I mean it kind of it varies just a little bit um which is why when she said she would have installed them for me in March I would have probably been at the 14 mark which is why she quoted me for a 14 inch mark but because I'm still at 12 and 13, you know, that's where it's at. I don't know the front. We'll see when I get there. But yeah, I'm feeling good. But you know what? I want to enjoy the rest of my Christmas. It's still only seven something. So I'm going to go walk my dog, take a shower. This is my pajamas, y'all. So yes, y'all are seeing me in the same kind of pajama because I shower and I'm staying in the house. Like I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting on my pajama after. So I don't know. Um... That's all y'all gonna see me is in pajama clothes. So it's gonna go change from this to something else. That's all that's it. Um, yeah, so I'll keep y'all posted to where I'm at in the count. So, so far, like I said, I'm at 175 blocks, which I think is perfect because I never wanted to have a whole lot of them anyways. And honestly, people don't like, especially since I started them myself and she's gonna have to go and lock, like retwist on my work um, or retie on my work every other month or whatever the case may be a lot of people don't like doing locks or people's hair that have like 700 locks you know I'm hoping to shoot to like at least 400 that's cool if it's not 400 I think it will be because if it's 175 total I don't know you know I can very well get to that 225 because the front of my hair is a lot more fuller than the back of my hair so you know I think I can easily get to the 400 mark and that's usually a good range anyway so as long as I've gotten around 400 then I feel like I've done something relatively good and close to what a lot of people do when they're starting locks so that's all that's it for today y'all that's all that's it I'm gonna keep continuing the journey until I'm done and I'll show y'all the final thing but so far I can turn around and show you I just got a pint but let me just show you what I got I mean I just have them pent so you don't really see anything. Let me see if I can just take them down. They're just in larger twists. But y'all could probably see, you know, the, the grid that's going on. There is definitely a grid system that I got going on. But uh, yeah, I just got them twisted and then my ends are curly because that's how I want it. So that's all that's it, y'all. That's all. That's it. 
and I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, hey! I am done. I am done today. Today is December 27th, 2021. Um, and I am officially established. I am established. I am established. These suckers are all in my head, y'all. He feel me? They're all in my head. And I'm so excited. Um check out this clip of me doing a full rotation so you can like see in between stuff like that i still technically have them in their little sections that i was doing them in in the first place but uh i'm just gonna keep them in just because i don't know i don't think they're gonna unravel per se but i'm gonna just keep them in as as is for the next couple of days i am gonna put a little oil on my scalp so i know you're allowed to put a little oil on uh the scalp and all that stuff but check out this full rotation So you saw the full rotation you got to see a little full spin around um, I'm excited on how they came out I think I did a really good job you know I tried to be as precise as I could with the parts and stuff um, my arms was killing me y'all so it took a total of 20 hours total of 20 hours over the course of four days so i started friday which was christmas eve because y'all saw me color my hair thursday again i would say if you want to color your hair obviously probably color your hair at least a month the shortest amount of time i would say before doing it just because i do feel like my ends are a little bit um the typical like bleached hair dry not dry dry like it's falling off but like that typical oh you bleach your hair it's a little dry at the ends whatever but i did put some moisturizer on the ends i'm not gonna lie no heavy cream or nothing like that but i put like a little oil because i was just like i can't have my ends frying like i just can't which is every reason why you should have or i should have and people should do it at least a month in advance because then that way if you're washing your hair every week or every two weeks you're getting at least a few deep conditions in your hair for your hair to kind of like adjust to the bleach um but that's here nor there i feel like it's going to be fine i'm going to like try to find a way to keep the ends nice and moist that's why i only did the ends for the bleach um because i'm doing open ends and that's why y'all see it as being a little frizzy at the ends because i want those curls at the end so anyway 20 hours total over the course of four days. Um, I only took a break on day three. Day three, I was really exhausted, guys. I really felt like my arms were killing me. My, Let me tell you something. I tried to go to sleep on Christmas Eve, I think. And I woke up all throughout the night going into Christmas Day because I was feeling like I had like sciatic pain in my arm. It, it, it was crazy. Um, and I already experienced sciatic pain. So it really hurt. My arms were numb. The back obviously just takes a lot more reach in than the front. The front, you feel like you can see more. So that's the only thing I would say. And I didn't have anybody to help me part, like nothing, not even the 16 sections to even get them started. So I just had to trust the Lord upstairs and myself, honey, and just be like, you can get this grid together. So that's basically how that um, played out. Um, 
yeah and then I knew that I wanted my established day to be a date that I like am content with right like I didn't want the 13th or you know some the 11th or something like that um my birthday is on the 27th of September so I love 27 27 is my like favorite lucky number so I was excited that if I could get it done in four days that today would be the 27th and I can have my established um, day be today right so I, anyways I was excited about that and then I naturally love even numbers so I would have been fine with it being the 28th or the 30th or even January 1st would have been okay because like that's the first of the month something like that but the 27th was perfect perfect because it's my favorite lucky number anyway so that just makes me feel like I've got that extra bit of luck but yeah other than that the next steps are I sent my video that I showed y'all just now of my hair being finished and my count I'm gonna tell y'all my count at the end but um I sent all of that to her uh to the girl that was initially gonna install my hair um so that way she can become my loctician for the retwist and ties or whatever I should say um so all in all y'all I have 445 locks okay so there's gonna be 445 hopefully they continue you know but 445 so I'm pretty proud with that number because I feel like most people that I've watched on YouTube or heard had about like four something or five something or something like that it seems like that's a good number so I'm excited so thank you for being with me on this journey this ended up being the week's vlog because that's what I did during the holiday season and what I did for the week so yeah thank you for tuning in and I'll check up with y'all next week bye